for group kills, we also get level two doors. You don't mind. Fair enough. That's a... I'm pretty sure I threw an extra R in there. No, I didn't. Haha. -ha. Nothing with your prime sub. Yeah. Oh, well, thank you. Appreciate it. Mordek, welcome to the murder most foul. Thanks for the support. I don't do it. I, I like I do like so little advertising on stuff. I'm like, hey, like and subscribe videos. Follow me, and I, I do like the opposite of that. It's like all the badges are the same. I have no bit badges. Um, I, I thank people who support, but I don't. I don't want ever. I, you know, when I'm ever in somebody else's stream, they're like, I'm sorry, I can't subscribe, and I feel bad because I've done it for like 70 months in a row. And it's like you shouldn't feel bad that you're in a financial situation where you can't donate money. You know, like that's like you're like you apologize to somebody for not being able to afford to give them money. Ugh. Hello, Zanon. Yeah, so last time we ran Slug A, we got a buffer point in shields, and then we just got absolutely annihilated in our shield system. Like, we just kept getting hit in our shields, kept getting hit in our shields, and then we died from it. And that was less of a fun time. Hopefully that doesn't happen this time around. All right, start with uh, this positioning because we want our weapons to charge ASAP. Maybe try and take weapons off of enemy ships offline before they have a chance to fire or make sure that ours fire at least. Uh, what do we got? One, two, three, four, five, six. All right. Uh, one, two, three. Four, five, six. Hmm. Wouldn't mind going to a store. We do have plenty of things to sell. Jester wishes to be a rock. Nice. First jump, nothing. Good, good. I don't really want money. Okay, out of store. Next beacon. How's it going? Then for ourselves. Okay, auto ship. The combat, uh, that's a little bit gross, but we do have a buffer point in our weapons. They could have level three uh, drone control, so that is a potential concern. This is actually basically the ship that killed us last time. This is actually exactly the ship that killed us last time. Okay, makes us generally safer. Okay. So first time um, our bomb also missed. And so this had set up the mini beam and it clipped through our shields. And it was a very, very sad time. This is breached. Door moved. Repair bot, yeah. All right, let's see if we can land more shots. Okay, so if we bomb this, repair bot maybe stays there. This goes offline, this being the bigger threat. It's really difficult to get a crew kill here just because the weapons are still dangerous. We're just trying to figure out what is the best disruptive play that I have while also maintaining safety. <laughs> Okay, so the repair bot goes offline, which does slow their repair, but it doesn't assist us in taking their offense down. But luckily, they only had, they didn't have any buffer points in their shield, so likely. Okay, good. So if we bomb this again, the repair bot comes up online and they start fixing things. So I think we're just gonna hold this in reserve for now. Never mind. Um, ten. Let's 
take the drone offline, possibly. Okay, good. Yeah, like, this is too spooky of a fight for me to, like, try and swap over to get bio kills here. I think. Just because they have the repair bot. So once they get to level one, the repair bot starts fixing things. That's just too many people doing repairs. There's also the concern of them. Yeah, see, like, they get it fixed. Now there's four crew doing repairs. And again, I don't really have, like, an offense. Like, this isn't doing hull damage. It's only the, uh, the dual lasers that's actually doing hull damage. Really? How safe do I think I am now? Like, is a 60 swipe gonna kill? They're putting out a fire. Do it. Yeah, great, great, great. Hey, Deverich. <sighs> okay, this is offline. If it repairs, it's gonna have to do double repairs or is it gonna swap off immediately? May not also do double repairs. I forget if there's a breach in there or not. This is gonna take 16 seconds to charge up. This is not coming back online. Yeah. But see, okay, they got this back off and then they swapped off the repair bot. And now the weapon's online. I will get to fire first. Oh, right, they have no shield. <laughs> Never mind. I totally forgot they didn't have a shield up. I was trying to like go around a shield that wasn't there. Good job, me. I pay attention. I've played FTL before. I have played FTL. So that's my connecting jump. Does this connect? <gasps> no. Okay. <sighs> so we're gonna like go this way. Cause we kind of have to end up here. All right, pay attention. Gosh, I'm so, yeah, like I, like I said, there's like, like that little bit of paranoia in my head where it's like, you know, you're just gonna get absolutely annihilated in your shields and my brain freaks out and are you kidding me? And the virus hack event. What's funny is if the breach had landed and before I shot them down, uh, we actually could have just turned into a training ship. Oh wait, actually still a training ship. Just kidding. Cool. I will take the, uh, the speed up. What's going on? Uh, uh, gifting five subs. Uh, thank you. It's very, very kind. Yeah. So, uh, Bark of Turner, Wondrous, Tic Tac Foe, Zanon, and uh, Barry Jenkins. Welcome to the Murder Most Foul. Some of those yeah. are welcome backs. Python Idler. Wow. Very, very generous. Thank you. Yeah, trading during the shield hack event. Uh, achievement unlock. Yeah. Oh, that's a noise. Uh, I'm going to spare chat from listening to that. Oh my gosh, it's awful. Very cool. Yeah, uh, so like one, you know, like... You're always trying to find new ways to improve in FTL, right? And so one of the things is like really being cognizant of where like there might be some training ships just to eke out a little bit of an advantage. So like this ship, because we have breaches, we can do a breach on a weapons against an auto ship. There might be an opportunity to train. And there might be just 
again, there's a lot of things where... Oh, no, that's awful sounding. There are a lot of things in FTL where what you're judging is, like, there's an upgrade that either does... It does, like, nothing 80% of the time, 90% of the time. Like, getting a buffer in shields, like, 90% of the time does not matter. Uh, yes, auto ships cannot repair breaches. So once the system is breached, that damage stays on auto ships. That also includes the flagship when they run out of crew. Um, yeah, so like trying to, I think we're there. And then we'll bring sound back, because I remembered to do that for someone who forgot to turn off their stream for like 20 minutes, 30 minutes. Um, yeah, so you're just trying to find new different little ways. It, it helps me to stay engaged, because I'm always like, all right, what was the thing that I learned? And that's the thing that I have to apply. Like part of that fight early on, I was trying to figure out if I, uh, when my weapons charge to shooting down the drone like that that was another consideration that i was actually making during the fight itself it's like yeah that that's just something to try and pay attention to that yeah oh as i was saying so like the buffer point in your shields 90 percent of the time doesn't matter like you'll just hit them in their weapons they never target your shields nothing changes but the situations where it does matter, it matters a lot. You're in an asteroid field, you're in a solar flare, your shields get clipped, your first volley is weak, more projectiles are coming in, and your ability for your shields to remain intact can fundamentally just save your run. Hello, Dern. Free flak, that would be nice. And so there, there's this kind of weird element when trying to like make your way through a game of FTL where, like I said, you're just like, okay, I can do this thing and 90% of the time it isn't going to matter. No. But, like I said, that, there's the times when it does and it makes a huge difference. Offer your assistance, scan the planet. Wow, okay, we've, we're making absolutely no money right now. Okay, so we, we haven't seen a store yet. This is our jump beacon. So we basically go like one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two. Oh, I can't. I don't think I can get there. Did I see Rand's fight? Yes. Yes, I did. Oh, we're totally just going to shoot this. Come on. Am I gonna get another garbage scrap sector one again? Come on, FTL, why? Why is my FTL haunted? What is doing that? Um, yeah, I saw the end, you know, of course, Zoltan C, so it was a bit of a frustration when like the same ship kind of keeps cropping up. Uh, I had a similar thing where like Zoltan C ended like two of my longest streaks at a time. I went 27 and 0 and died on it. And then I think I had like a 17 one. Tech priest, maybe. Um, also, was there like a breach? Okay, I got Slugger Pair Gel and it's not in any room that I care about. Um, you know, again, that's what Rand has done a lot of stuff that he, he's a lot better about. I think his micro is a lot better. I think he's embracing of macro decision making being really important. Uh, better thinking through fights. Okay. Very dangerous fight. Very, very dangerous fight here. This is where training might pay off. All right, hold on a second. Hey, back up. Okay, that's great.
Okay, charging up weapons. No, I'm not even giving the NG a chance to breathe here. Okay. All right, yeah, uh, sorry, sorry. Like, uh, hyper-focused on making sure I don't botch that fight. Oh, yeah, uh, we could have got a judge training because of the, like, the weapons desync there. Yeah, I got to focus on crew kill. Uh, Bargo wanted to join, though. Can't do, will do. Why am I I'm not lettering? Um, yeah. Uh, but, there, you know, that, and then, you know, just, like, me is, like, going through and it's like, oh, like, you know, there are a couple crew kill attempts that probably could have been done. Um, I didn't inherently like going to the rocks, or I didn't like going to Rebels versus Rock and uh, the weapon hack. But also, like, I think, like, if the shield was up in time, if he activated battery and got the shield up in time to not get swiped in the weapons, I think it's, it's kind of a thing. Zoltan sees just a really weird ship because it's like, it's okay. Like, it seems absolutely terrible, but it's actually really good in, like, the first two sectors, but it just downgrades really hard. Um, because the NG's at 6.5 seconds, it's a little bit close. We could put a crew there. Um, but then it also, it had to fix the breach, so I don't... So then this one gets repaired and the other one, right, so that's 6.5 seconds. Like, that's fine. Like, the shield would recover in time. I was kind of just like, yay, I'm going to get a crew kill and not die because we got weapon training when we did. And so we actually took their weapons offline before they fired because they didn't have anybody on their weapons. <sighs> so do I not even get a store here? All right, let's, let's think about this. So this is one jump. This is two jump. This is three jumps, right? But this is one jump. This is two jumps. If that's three, then I can't go one, two, three. So we have to go one, two, three. Yeah, so this was the store in the sector. I'm gonna take this jump just to see if I get a better measurement. And Oh, this connects. Hold on a second. That actually does connect. All right, yeah, I can go through here with my no money. Gross. Okay, this is in position one, and they're running away, so that could potentially be an Artemis. So we have to take the Artemis offline. Like, that's not, that's not a, that's not up for debate. This could be really bad. Sounded like a fire. Hey, Raka. Uh, garbage sector one again. Just no scrap sector one. Uh, we have like four jumps left and we haven't even cracked 50, uh, 50 scrap. Cause it's me, ha ha ha. Crow plays FTO, gets no money ever. Or, you know, I get, or all I do is get money. That's it. It's either all the things or none of the things. I know I I don't need I'd have no average runs. Yeah, I know I still have gel to sell. We haven't sold gel yet. So like we're gonna just go to the store and make 30 bucks at the store, and that's gonna be like half the scrap we make in the sector. Assuming that we stop this ship from running away. Okay, 
That's very good. Alright. Fire spreading, but that room is empty, that room is empty, that one, that one. I'm just gonna try and kill it with no O2. health are you at? 25. All right, there's too many repairs right now for them. That should be a kill. All right, now I'm gonna maybe try and fix the doors because that fire is... yeah. We might get something free from this. Ooh, that is a raging fire. All right. <sighs> cool. 16 bucks and an eye intruder. Nice. Uh, Slug is technically have a scrap to sell. You sold everything. Get a first laser to online. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I'm a bomb keeper. Some people like to keep the beam. I like to prefer keeping the bomb. I just like disrupting systems more so. I once lost on Slug V from selling Slug Gel. Well, 18 bucks. Right, let's do this. We're fine. Okay. Okie dokie. Yeah, so we got the fact that our shots landed, we got that kill was really nice. Okay, hat one, two, three, four, five, six. Like, that's spooky close. I don't like it. I really don't like it. But that connects over. All right, let's see what we get. Whole beam and a pike beam. I mean, uh, that's just cheaper. Mind control and stuff. That is, that's so huge that we actually got like an additional 32 scrap after getting nothing. Uh, that's a choice. It's far more destructive, It's but it is $15 more. We have fuel, that's good. Getting you know, an, uh, a damaging weapon online is totally acceptable. We can still kind of just keep everything else. Yeah, like, cause it's just cheaper. Cause it, is, it saves 15 bucks and scrap is so much more important in the early sector than the late sector. Oh, no, yeah, yeah, I also really... We're going to sell gel to ensure that we get second shield here. But that's that's a, it's, that's worth pointing out. Or, I mean, we could sell, we could sell the beam. So if we buy 77 left, we're firing at 14 seconds, and my... 14 seconds versus 25. Mind control is useless versus auto ships is a big issue. Yeah, so like I would grab mind control because even though it's not, as you said, it's not, it has like no functionality against auto ships. Like that that's that's a por that's a portion of the game. Um, but against everybody else, it it does help shots land as well as you know, it gets the system out of the pool, so we're more likely to find hacking. It makes our shots more land, but also increases our chances of getting crew kills, though less so on this ship, right? Because like it's just built for crew killing. Bum, bum, bum. See, like it's almost tempted to keep this over this, but this also has blue options. And this doesn't. 
So we probably go this just because it does save 15 bucks. The slightly slower fire rate. I mean, it's not slightly slower. Two seconds is a big difference. But I just want to save the 15 bucks more so than anything else. The damage between it is... Like, against the flagship, you'll notice it, right? Because this is going to be 5-6 flagship, and this is 8-9 flagship. But then some of the swipes you're doing, it doesn't matter as much. And then this one actually can, like, phase 2 nicely takes uh, drone control off while still hitting missiles and piloting. If you're thinking that far ahead. Second shield. Uh, let's let it load to get back where it is. Now pays Hermes. True. So the question is: Is like fifteen bucks going to make the difference, or is the slower speed going to make the difference? You know, like if we get hacking, then it doesn't matter, and we're still going to be pretty much just doing this setup to get our stuff to land, and then once their weapons are offline, time is not as relevant. But between the bio beam and the pike beam? I actually don't know. No, uh, but yeah, pike beam is the longest beam swipe, actually, in the game. <sighs> Do I want repairs? You're offering me... That's so ridiculously kind. Nobody else has done that kind of stuff for me. Feels acceptable. I get three. We'll float our, our 16 of. Well, the other thing, though, it, 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 and it's not less with these weapons, is hull beam cuts slower. So, like, if you have charge laser, like, if you go with, like, a charge laser, like, the shot projectiles, and also because, like, sometimes where the angles on the ships hit, just getting, like, super ultra technical about it. Um, like, the window of shield suppression is not as big. And, like, Pike Beam doesn't care, because Pike Beam just goes zip, and will still hit, like, everything within a very small window. Where Hull Beam, like, if you're, like, at the start, like, by the time you get to the end, the shields can, in fact, like, be restored. And then you don't actually get the full value of Hull Beam on swipes. But it does fire faster in terms of when you're actually hitting the enemy ship. <sighs> See, that was close. All right. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, so we actually get these two. Uh, no, I'm not going to risk it because that's at an angle. And then that's there. I, I think it's going to partially cover this beacon, but I'm not rolling that. It's really close. Uh, okay. Hacking. Heavy and that. Don't hit my shields. Don't hit my shields. Don't do it. Don't do it. Don't be a jerk. Hitting my engines kind of makes you a jerk, though. Well, this will take ever so slightly longer to do. Yeah, they're not doing anything else. Like, a lot of it's like... Eh. Like I, like I said, hull beam and pike beam for me are, like, right there. Like, hull beam, if, if you have, like... You know, it's like if you got like really, really hosed on weapons, then that, like I said, that ability to essentially two shot the flagship every round is really, really helpful when you have like a really weak weapon system. Like Pike will be good, but maybe not as effective, right? Um, but then like with certain weapon setups, whole beam isn't as effective because like I said, you just can't get those weapon suppression windows. But if you get hacking, then whole beam doesn't care about it. And of course you generally are going to want hacking. 
but in this spot this early on i'm not like the difference really is i'm prioritizing the money more so than anything else and this is going to take a while because when we're hacked we can't dodge yeah we have had a, a slightly more fulfilling early sector maybe of course then like you know we got the drone we sell the gel we could get double rewards here and then the sector doesn't look like hot garbage Because let's see, we had to, we had fight, store, beacon, exit. So four beacons remaining in the sector, we had generated less than 50 scrap. Like, that's not ideal. Uh, probably this. ba ba da ba da ba 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 da ba but how essentially oh, I went through so many bombs in those two fights. But see here, pipe beam actually does more damage than whole beam. Pike swipe is almost a non-factor. The damage force exists in three or four resources, especially for pulling a pilot. Yeah, and then like also like what I said about the whole beam, like some swipes it matters. Like trying to get this swipe on whole beam, so whole beam would like essentially hit those three systems. Like it can be an uncomfortably uh, uncomfortable fit um, for the player at times. Like if you're pausing, oh, also sound. If you're pausing, it's a lot easier. If you have hacking, then again, like I said, it doesn't matter. Eight and fifteen. All right, money. Nice. I love money. <laughs> uh, I can't believe these beacons don't connect. That's ridiculous. I said it was going to be really close. Like even if you had fleet pursuit indicator, I don't know if you take that. Ooh. Uh, no, not hiring anyone. Rock controlled or rock controlled? Really? That's very bad. We go to this one because we have a green sector here versus purple. This is definitely uncharted. I'd rather not go to that, but if this is Alton, I definitely don't want to go to that. But this is potentially gross because rock mine event could have our crew. I'm pretty sure it has to be a missile weapon that a bomb weapon does not count. <sighs> Could just be the case. All right, but there are two stores in this sector. Okay, one. All right, these store, those are two stores. That's just it. So we go one, see a bunch of beacons. Two, see a bunch of beacons. And we've seen all these beacons in here in two jumps. Um, so one, two, like three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So I don't, I just don't get to see these two. You better for live mine event. Yeah, it is what it is. Like I can't. I didn't have an option. Uh, okay, yeah, we're doing that. Store, okay. Oh, so uh, about the, the Rand thing. I thought it was interesting. Nobody really brought up the store that happened the jump before. Some people talked about not going to the sector and, and different hacks against the enemy ship. Um, but there was a store right before that fight and Rand had like 103 scrap potential, I think, because he had scrap recovery arm, 24 scrap. You can maybe sell the charge. You can maybe sell the bean drone. Like those are just flex options that are there. And you could just get into like a traditional weapon setup. Like I kind of go to a store for 100 when I have 100 scrap. But then it's weird weapon transitions. Mike I talked to, and Mike also mentioned like that you should probably have a little bit more faith in the, the weapons. Like the ion plus the beam will get there. And 
uh, maybe by reactor. Because one of the things is like that ship is like battery holds out for, you know, 20 seconds or whatever. And uh, okay, so I could take. How do I want to do this? So I'm, I'm, I'm just mapping out how much money I actually have right now, which is a decent amount. 39 plus 25 plus 25 equals, I mean, I have enough for hacking. If I sell both of these and buy hacking, do I feel bad about my ship? No. But also, I'm still going to be able to see all the jumps, even if I take this one first. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. It's pretty close. Jellyfish A. I'll sneak one beacon in. Okay. Well, FTL. First. Okay. Oh, look at that! The 15 bucks mattered! Fifteen dollar e dues. Look at that. I love FTL so much. Okay. Hello, Dig Dug, by the way. All right, so I think we still just kind of have the same scouting. Weapon's okay, but intruders on board. Wow, your ship's disgusting in this asteroid field. Why are you like this? All right, they're not going anywhere for a while. Uh, and they don't have anybody on their weapons. We're fully trained on our weapons. They also only have one shield. Asteroid being a bro. Nice. All right. Do I want to even try to go for crew kill shenanigans here? They have a clone bay, so this character's going to clone. Go over there. Asteroid field. One shield. Uh, Flat gets back online. I don't think so. Like, it, it's too long of a fight. Also, Medbay needs to be online. That's how that works. I remember how to play FTL. Wait, is Breach 25, 25, 27? So we try to see if we can get up to 80 scrap, hit a store, get hacking. Comfy run, maybe. Comfy-ish. Comfy for me. My version of comfort is different than everybody else's. Hello, Light Bright. as we wait forever to get out of here. Also, my put two things, uh, and th this, if if you watch when Rand was uh, like reviewing the fight and going through and playing through, which I think is actually a really incredibly powerful tool that, you know, is only kind of like this recent development. Uh, was that like Math Champ and others who were in, uh, developed that? So you could like reload a save and essentially play a fight. But two errors occurred during that fight. One was the drones. The drones were misfiring. So, like, the first of the two beam drone fires from either ship could miss. So, like, Zult, Rand's Zoltan shield was essentially... Uh, I was looking for him in a while. Just, what? Why? That's not how they're supposed to work. Tell that B. You tell that B. Um, but, so, like, essentially, the Zoltan shield lasted longer than anticipated because of that, which is a pretty big exception. And two, and I had no idea this happens, when you reload fights, they lose hull. 
because like FTL like adds hull points as sectors go, but if you reload the fight, it like doesn't see that. So if you actually look at the replaying of the fight, the ship has two less hull on the replays. I don't think that technically matters because once you dunk the weapons, it's just over and that's just a prolonging of the fight, but in certain instances it actually may. And that's like just two bits of information. It's like, I did not know that. And so if you're using that as a tool, be careful. Okay. One, two, three, four. The idea, what do we, one, two, three, one, two, three, four, five, maybe six, but maybe five. Like, I don't want to get this jammed as a store. Let's take this beacon. That's a store. Go back around this way. I really got fight playing Rock B the other day. You stage manager and the enemy ship hack engines every single time. Is it targeting? That seems weird. Could be an Artemis. Okay. But again, they don't actually have anybody on their weapons. And we have training. And if we get hit on our weapons once, well, we'll probably just got to switch to breach. Okay, it's a Leto. Okay, so I have breach bomb. It's both rocks, like. I think their weapons are too spooky to really try for a crew kill. Hey, Emblem. No, oh, he's missed these. Well, I haven't done a lot for a while. I was playing Dave the Diver for a very long part of time. It's a fire. Curses are rocks, so they're not taking damage from it. I'm curious. Okay, interesting, interesting. So they're gonna be staying in the room doing joint repairs. The fire's gonna be consuming the oxygen. We might have one? Okay, let's charge our FTL up all the way and also we can wait on our weapons. That's less important. This isn't Dave the Diver. I have switched your game for a different one. Okay. Well, I, this is a little bit risky because uh, they might still have piloting. Steve the Spaceman, yeah. Spaceman Spiff. That would be a very chaotic video game. Okay. All right, if they get fixed, I miss. Okay. Swap to my backup. I guess I could use Pike, because Pike doesn't miss, but then if I get the double, and, 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 same difference. It's faster to the lighter. Come on, give me the kill. Do it. Plus, this just got hit twice. This is where I shoot it. And they're too low on health, so they'll die. I get the re repair reset. One time I didn't do this, and it actually cost me a crew kill. Yes. Okay. 
Okay, what is our plan, Crow? One, two, three, four, five jumps left. One, two, three, one, two. Okay, this is a store. I get a little bit jammed, just a little bit. Should have got my shield back up to level two. Twenty-five. That's not enough. It's it's one scrap short. Oh, I shouldn't have got the repair, but twenty-seven gets there. Right? I I I'm pretty sure I math correctly. Okay. So what do we think about double four shots and a breach with hacking versus merely just keeping the beam and getting the beam online? It's funny how it's just, it's it's legit just a repair away. Like the 15 scrap mattered, like so we could buy this laser and then we get here. <sighs> it's not the good beam though. It's a pretty all right beam. We also only have four drone parts, but it is hacking. Like, we're only going to be fighting against two shielded ships, generally speaking. Ugh, it's so bad spending this kind of scrap. I mean, I, I'm not saying it's not right, because we don't, it's not, uh, what is it called? What is it called? I always forget the economic terms. It's, uh, sunken cost fallacy, right? Well, I spent money on this, so I have to get the full value out of it, or I'm losing. Hacking saves us in a lot of situations. I mean, I know it's like the correct play. It's just feels bad. Oh well. Yeah, it's FTL. These are the choices you gotta make sometimes. Ignore. Making money hand over fist. Just making money hand over fist. That's what we're doing. Okay, Mantis resultant. Yeah, it's pretty easy. Yeah, no rock mine. I was thinking, I was like, that's gonna be it. It's like, that's just. <sighs> okay, Mantis, one and a half stores. One, two, no. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Because if I go this way, I'm missing out on far more beacons. Oh, no, I mean, we can take... Okay, we take... Eh, mostly it's just because... Yeah, it doesn't really matter. Okay, cloaking two shields and an Artemis. <gasps> Why though? Gosh. Like, the other thing was, like, we can get the breach online, but we got, like, so ridiculously hosed on scrap at the end of it. So dumb. Like, again, I'm just getting choked on scrap. Like, and swapping out weapons that I bought doesn't help that situation. But again, it's just another... I just get no scrap. 
And again, it's gonna happen every other run, every few runs, but for me, it just seems it's a lot of runs. It's a skip. Well, okay. The Artemis hits what? The Artemis hits weapons. I switch to Breach. We hack their weapons. We try to run away. Right? That's... If it hits shield, we hack their weapons. We fire four shots. We try to take their weapons offline. That's another option. So we have, we have those two options. Those are like essentially the two worst outcomes. Now it could be that they just dodge everything, which is a possibility. And then we're just eating a bunch of Artemis missiles. Like we also could hack their engines and try to ensure that our shots land, but then there's no guarantee that the Artemis comes offline. And we know it's an Artemis because slug chips only have Artemises and breaches. Nobody knows how weapons go down anymore. Like, it used to be the least charged one went offline, but now it's, like, super up in the air, and sometimes they aggressively swap. Yeah, the cloaking is the problem. Like, if they didn't have cloaking, it's it's far less of an issue because I get two volleys off. Also, light cruisers have, like, incredibly high engine possibility. Okay, engines in Sector 3 could be 2 to 4. Could it have Cloak 2? Yes. Pretty sure it can have. Oh, this is the pirate variation. Right. Um, so, I had to recheck my number. Er. Yeah, it's 1 to 2 always. 1 to 2 always, 2 to 4 engines. Like, I have hull. If I just get... What does I need? 35 scrap, so I need 16 scrap, and the breach comes online. And then we just feel a lot better about our ship anyways. <sighs> but the level 2 cloak, again, this we take. It's where this hits. It could also hit us in hacking. And then we just miss everything. That's actually the worst. Uh, it's a three crew ship. Man. Yeah, so the worst case scenario really is it hits hacking so that I can't guarantee anything and I can't slow down their weapons at all. Stupid 16 scrap away from just having breach online and then it's like, oh, it's, we're fine because we're doing three damage. And everything's okay. Like, if it's hack one, if it's cloak one, it's not bad, but it's 50-50. If it's cloak two, it's bad. Then the Artemis is hitting. And like I said, the weapon hit, stinks, can recover. 50-50, we take the missile offline. If the Artemis keeps going, again, I don't have full dodge training. Ironically, would Pike have been better here? No. Because what we need to do is deal three damage directly to the room. Because that guarantee forces this offline.
Like, the argument would be we don't actually pick this up and then we just get the breach online with the, the weapon swap. Like, it would have been fine if I just didn't, like, whiff on scrap in the last four jumps of the sector and then immediately jump into this fight. Like I said, we're, we're 15 scrap, 16 scrap away from getting the breach online and then I can do three damage to this room. Or whichever room the weapons is in, right? That's, that's... It's like a frustration, and I have to not let that be the thing that's forcing my decision of, like, I need scrap, and so I'm going to take this fight because it has scrap. The thing is, is, like I said, if the missile hits hacking, which shouldn't be on smart targeting because there is no ha active hacking. You would buy a, the rock? Oh. <sighs> if I can't hack any, that's like really, really worrying about the worst case scenario and then I'm not going to run away for a while. I mean, yeah, sure, all my weapons work and I have the breach as a backup. Because we hate slavers. Like, the breach missile is helpful, but then Nagarda also is a slug ship, so they have repair gel. Yeah, I just can't... If things get stupid, I don't have, like, the same level of recovery that I need. Oh, well. Level three cloaking. Level three cloaking in sector three. Thank you for that. Uh, I can't get the anti-bio beam, triple kill, slug ship achievement. How can I do it? So it, it's certain ships, it's a, a little bit easier to get on than on others, particularly if they have like any way of healing, then it's very difficult because they just kind of run off and heal after taking 60 points of damage unless there's like systems that are hurt um but the thing is is you also have to like you have to hit the tile that they're standing on so you have to just make sure that the swipe is going through the actual tiles that they are standing on so it doesn't actually have to hit them so like there's like some rebel ships where you can kind of like swipe like engines to piloting but yeah like it what generally matters is uh just like where the crew exactly are standing yeah, if you have, like, a way to get, like, more of them in a room, then that can make it easier in the late game, once you've, like, killed off other ones. Come on, asteroid, help out. That was a help. Okay. Well, that could have been disgusting. It's level three. <laughs> okay, it's fine. Do drones get hit by anti-bio beam? I, I wouldn't think they would do anything because it does say like bios in the title. I wouldn't. I don't think it actually would have like a repair bot or anything. <sighs> okay, we're having fun still, chat. So much fun. All right, nice. Another hazard. Good. Quad borders. Yeah, okay. Yeah. So they basically have to filter into this room or they have to go into shields. And so if they went through shields and they definitely have to go here.
Um, okay, three are going to be in there. Let's stabilize pretty quickly. Might have to take up the hit, but that's survivable. Hacking. Easy vent. All right. That's clear. Okay. No damage. Yeah, but also no scrap yet again. I'm not allowed to have money when I play. So like I said, I don't have average runs of FTL, by the way. Hello, script skeletons. How's tonight going? Terrible. Like the stores have been good, but scrap has been uh, trash yet again, yet again. Just, <laughs> I just can't win. I just can't get money. It's not allowed. Like once I stabilize the run, it's gonna throw a bunch of scrap at me and then go like, look at your averages, it's fine. Getting jammed on scrap in the early sector is so terrible. It's so bad. It's so massively detrimental. And we're a crew killing ship. We're supposed to be generating money and I can't. I don't even get chances to. It's frustrating and I have to keep working through it. And then the next run, the same thing happens and I have to work through it again. And then the next run happens and I have to work through it again. And it's just like, can I please, please? All right, this is actually a nice fight. Uh, but that is an Artemis. Uh, I got a whole minute of ads. Yeah, hello, welcome. Uh, hi, skeleton. I, I was saying that tonight, yeah, like it's, it's another low scrap sector game again. As always, as nearly always. Ah, <gasps> maybe a crew kill? Genji's gonna do NG things, of course, but... Okay. Level three oxygen, sure. FTL, sense of humor. Should still be dead. Yeah, so that's what they put their upgrades into, right? They didn't buy the teleporter. They were just like, increase that O2. Uh, there's no way I give him a chance to even let that Artemis get online. I don't care. Only get to shoot them one more time. Oh, yeah, too. I watch on crow stream are harder than average. I probably bring bad luck. <sighs> I mean, on one hand, like, when you're as high skill as I am, and I am, like, you're going to win these runs, and also you can get away with less, and your threat assessment is going to be, like, a little bit different, and you're so, like, you win with less. So there are times where um, like there are times where I could get more money like late in game. So I think like some of the scrap averages is like I've now is this who's responsible? Oh, that's a good idea. Uh, like hopping to the flagship to get a hack reset. 
I don't know really when I started doing that, but that easily could just be like 50, 60 scrap right off the top every single run that I do that. Like that could be like that big of a difference. And then a score at the end, like your, you know, your 5,000, 4,000, whatever is always multiplicative. So any of those discrepancies then of course get multiplied. Who <laughs> is a lurker? Yeah. Um, okay, here's the idea. Okay. So, yeah, they're already low and they were not going to be able to break through the doors in time. That's tempting, but I think this is correct here. Bit of a consolidation, unfortunately. Okay, uh, so I saw those two beacons. Probably don't get to see that one. If I jump these three beacons, then essentially I don't get to see any. So I take this one. Three. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, maybe eight. So one, two, three. Do I want to play if that's a possibility of being the store? Gosh, I'm gonna like miss out on so many looks. Essentially, I should just take this to stress, unless I wanna like go one, two, three. Well, if that's not the store, so we go one, two, no, yeah, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. And then I, if that's a store, I don't get it, and that's a store, I don't. I'll get to see, no, I get to see those two there. It's not really providing me with more information unless I want to see if that's a store before I go. Right, one, two. So that's dead in four. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So I lose those two. But I pick up these two, so it's six and a half dozen the other. That's a close five. Two jumps to make money? Will I actually get to make any money though? I don't know if I have to care about that store. Like, even if I have buying power at the store, like, the best thing I could get is, like, mind control. And that is 60 scrap away. Well, okay, so it's 35, 75 minus 30. So 40, 41 scrap away. Two jumps. I feel like I actually have to ignore it. Yeah, yeah. Like, honestly, my best play would just be to get level two hacking at this point, I think. I mean, you still take this jump. We just go this way. Unless this is like two million scrap. Like, here's a free glaive. Nope. Unless it's just nothing again.
say fight. Hey, Johnny Bones, how's it going? Is FTL treating you any better? Got a win with Lanny B. Nice, nice. Hey, wins a win. Wins a win. <sighs> Why? Okay. Oh, well, that went too hard. That went too hard. <sighs> I thought they were going to dodge. Yep. Okay. Fair enough. Triple flag build. Nice. Nice. <sighs> All right. Uh, I actually have to use the restroom real quick. So we're going to do some training. I'm going to speed it up just because take two it's gonna be anyway so i'm just like quick one minute break we'll be right back i don't want to hear that but <laughs> See you, Dapper. Yeah, let's do this. Because, like, I, I don't know, get something from here. I really don't want to waste a drone part, like, getting a crew kill here. Because I only have four drone parts. But apparently we're going to train one of our NGs in, or uh, our Sluggo in, like, everything. Just in case we find somebody, we can just quickly plug them into the system, I guess. Because I, I don't know what else to do. Again, we're just... I just keep getting choked out. Which I guess, you know, it, it, one way it is helpful because you learn, like, what you can get away with. And you have to make tough decisions. And then you can kind of, like, learn from them. Being like, oh, okay, like, this is how I should be scaling my weapons. This is how I should scale my system. These are the kind of enemies that I'm going to be expecting in these sectors and so on and so forth. Like I said, it just gets tiring when it's constant or feels constant so last run was 47.58 the run before that was the mantis a run where we had a lot of scrap early the scrap fell off late um then we had the 59.74 result in c run which was i wasn't even streamed uh then a 5000 mantis b run a 45.70 run with federation c though that was a lot of free stuff 53.52 kestrel b run so only one of those one of my last six runs was an above average run like again my averages are still dropping i just i don't know easy runs are a myth i mean the mantis a run was like was fine there really wasn't an issue I like that. I 
never fired shots because I, I I wanted to like slow the Mantis's return to try and bait the Engian boarding. Uh, and then like every single volley's missed after that. Uh, your current drink? You haven't had a single hard run? Nice. That, that's really that's really what I give to the FTL community. I just uh all the bad mojo, all of it. I just take it. I take it for you. No one on engines, you're still getting dodges. Ba, 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 ba. Hey! What was that? That shouldn't have happened. So they have a system damaged. So wait, 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 wait. So there was no system damage. So it goes into no damage, which means at any health loss, they go and heal because they took the 15 HP, but then the system broke. Oh, I guess they just weren't low enough health so level one got them there. Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. Off to when you play on easy. Well, that's probably true. Even easy to difficult. All right, take my twelve dollars. Seventeen dollars. Sector is going to be pretty bad. Yep. Yep, 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 Like, I, if I have to eat damage, I have to eat damage. I can't let them get away. I'm so desperate on scrap, it's not even funny at this point. Again, we already fell off a full sector before we even got out of sector three. It's just bonkers to do that back-to-back -back runs. Again, with a crew killing ship, no less. Like, that just should generate money. We should be able to sell stuff. So, you know, I, I talked about my value video of like why you want your ship to be good as fast as possible. Like, so we, we weren't as good as we could have been because of the money, right? Like we couldn't, we weren't as good as we wanted to be because of the money. But if we had $16, we get the breach one online and then we take that fight that we were, that was a little bit scary. That was a slaver ship. And so we would have generated another 20 bucks out of that. So 16 scrap becomes another 25 scrap. And then you can kind of, you could, it's a, you know, it's a positive feedback loop. So then we're in a better position to do things. We're in a better position to win fights, but I have to skip a fight because I'm behind and that makes me even more behind. And so if you chase things like value points and, and blue options, you're pushing yourself back and getting behind the curve. <laughs> It's nice, but annoying later. I guess it's better for hitting weapons later game. Hey, the civilian ship. Thank <laughs> you. 
Game. Better? Yeah, I don't care. Fire. Bad fire. <sighs> Curious is level one. Thirty-nine. Next of all these a kill. Gumpo. All right. Got a gumpo. I mean, it, it is, like, it still has true killing capabilities, but it also gives me, like, potential damaging of systems, right? Like, it's better than nothing. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, I cruise nice. I don't care about the repairs. I don't care about the reactor. Do I care about the reactor? Yeah. Oh well. Definitely would have preferred money. That's an easy call. Yeah, like, so the problem with Leto from a perspective or perception is just that, like, on Zoltan A, you don't need it. And then on Federation B, you don't have enough missiles. <laughs> Like, if you just had five more missiles on Federation B, people would be like, oh, like, I, I kind of really want to keep that thing going. That does some work. <sighs> Three shielded ships. Okay, so put your hands together for RNG. If we just get a bunch of free stuff, if I just get a bunch of free stuff, uh, I'll be okay. I'm not gonna hold my breath. Okay. All right, see, chat, chat, thank you. Thank you. I shouldn't thank you yet. It's probably gonna be a repair burst, but. Uh, is this a desync? I think this is just a desync hack. Ooh. 
Okay. Nice. Less nice. Okay. Wish that wasn't an NG. Okay. All right, they're gonna survive. All right, it's technically better than a repair burst. It's technically better than a repair burst. I'll be the voice of the last jumps away. Yeah. I mean, it is a, it's two damage to the system, which is better than one damage in the breach. Yeah, it is. So it's a it's a slight upgrade. Gosh, I have no resources. All right, so one, two, three, four, five. Oh, I can never come back. So we take this jump. And then, I guess, go this way. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Uh, so that's like, they, they tell you, like, some people have taken up piracy. Can you, like, teach them a lesson? Don't kill them all and you get a weapon. Yeah. They do need fuel. Nice. Okay. Not in, not inherently what I was really looking for. dead on, isn't it? That's true, I could. That's what I had to think about. <laughs> uh, all right, so if we sell both, our offense goes terrible. We don't, we're not really safety because we're shield hacking every time and we only have four drones. Like, does that sound good? That doesn't sound good. Twenty-five more bucks. Fifteen bucks makes a difference, which led to twenty, which I would have twenty here. Yeah, we're low on missiles. It's all terrible. <sighs> There's no weapons. Of drones, and I have no drone parts. Like, yeah, like I said, we're it's not even low scrap, we're just getting empty beacons, so we get nothing. Yeah, I might be able to uh, some buy missiles. Yeah, there's no jump back to this store either. Uh, missile drones, fuel, and battery just keep trying to survive. And that's another thing when I talk about positive feedback loops with like FTL, like when you're behind, like you're not getting things, you're also not getting consumables. So then you actually have to spend more money on consumables. The probably uh, like I don't think I can do it. I can, like, there's some bad fights still with the hack two and the weapons that I have, but I can't lose. 
that's it's just not enough drone parts like if i find the other store like if i build up if this isn't like another empty one after all the other empty ones and then like this gets jammed in the store or something like there's a possibility like believe me there's a lot of situations where i were again i'm i'm being hamstrung by the fact i couldn't get 15 bucks 16 sorry 16 scrap 16 scrap when i was behind like 120 scrap meant that i don't have scrap now And it's just so dumb. And then I have like no offense to grow into and I'm at like exactly zero scrap. Like that's just such a big ask. I mean, I mean, normally I'm like, yeah, like I got the system and then I can build around it. What the hell is that brown again? Yeah, then we could get a teleporter and get crew, and then we want to buy back our missile weapons. Maybe I should just buy explosive replicator. I'm going to believe in what I have. Like, as much as I want cloaking, I mean, I mean we can just go shields three. Hmm. I don't know, 15 scrap engine gain. Mantis instead. Now we find teleport. Yeah, we're good. Too resource heavy. It's just so resource. Yeah, like, like it's fine. Like, yeah, the, when the chain fires, the heavy can time up. We'll get a hack in, depending on what their drones are. Like, we probably could be okay, but it's just a bunch of resources. Um versus like just getting 13 bucks like it's like okay so it's 13 plus the eight plus the six two crew three shields <sighs> All right, like the hack engines, it's really slow. They fire. They actually don't have crew on their weapons. Normally not a thing. Early on it, but. Everything misses. 75% of, uh, no, no, four of five shots missed. Yeah, sick. Wow, I guess I get lucky back.
It's like, it's a high chance, like, we take down, like, <laughs> particularly knowing this is a little, this is a three power weapon setup, and we couldn't take it down for four volleys. Like, it's like, what do you, whatever. Six missiles, which I do need, a drone part, which I do need, and 18 bucks. Shoots them in the shields. I was trying to get the missile offline, of course. And like, yeah, like it, it's a distraction. They lose their evasion, but our first volley just flat out like bailed so hard. Yeah, this is like literally our offense. It's like our, that's that's literally our offense right there. It's like, all right, you get to you get to have plus two damage six more times in your f offense. It's essentially a weapon for like three more fights that I'm just renting out. All right, I knew there wasn't going to be another. Wow, that made. I also missed a jump because of how the sector layout looked really close, and I'm going to miss another jump here. That's definitely not good. Maybe crew kill. Get out of town with that garbage. was on fire. <sighs> All right, we take this jump and then we think about maybe just shields upgrade. Yep. Every single exit beacon has been a tray, by the way. Every single one. Store.
gosh, we get such a look. Like, this is a score hunter's dream right here. Okay, things are super bad. So my shields stay intact for longer. And then actually be able to power any of this. see the store so I can take beacons to try and get a little bit of money maybe okay plus that puts me see all the ones here it's gonna be like right there and be like man sure all right that's store one when I have 74 scrap Fuel. I mean, I had to go there just for the fuel. Just sells for more. Could have thought about teleporter. Hey, I really should have thought about teleporter there. Okay. Keep making money, we hope. Could be fine. Sick. Add 11 reactor. Okay, just gonna keep on going. Yes. Got a minute of training we can do. Off of basic laser. Rooms aren't connected, so it could be up to level three piloting. Make sure I'm not shooting their drone down. Surprisingly, we are like close like it's cloaking in a weapon So like you find a weapon eventually right like we find a weapon we can use Well, I shouldn't say eventually because we did get the the small bomb Like then we have a chance You know Okay, 60 scrap is what I need to get the shield online. But they had... Oh. <clears throat> hmm? Big guns? What? Yeah. <laughs> it's runs like this, I think, that are really... 
like proved like that <laughs> of course, obviously no one thinks that i have a cheat button because that would be ridiculous regardless of images that i've maybe put online saying otherwise Dopey's Alton, Dopey's Alton, Dopey's Alton. Uh, okay, let's do this the smart way. One, two, three, four. Okay. Oh, that's way tighter than I thought it was. That's my fault. That's my fault. for the bomb to go off before I do this. Alright, how much health are you at? Okay, I can 74. Yeah, you have plenty of hold. Just kidding. and then we look kind of like a real ship. And then, you know, you just find cloaking floating in space. Free glaping. Kind of amazing. So we know this is level two piloting, not level three piloting. chat be cool all right come on i was stressed out i was stressed out oh my gosh whole beam so much better <laughs> than pike beam who thinks pike beam's any good pike beam's trash Ugh, absolute garbage garbage said it before, I said it a billion times. Like I said, it's just like, all right, finally getting rewarded for a crew kill, you know? I get the, the bomb, because that bomb from the event was just automatic. Like, you always get it, we didn't get a crew kill. Like, we actually had the opportunity. Okay, so, hi. Struggle is still 15 scrap. Like, I have to get it online. <sighs> oh, 
What's my power at? So I can't, I can't even it up. Or odd it up, I should say. So part of me wants to take these jumps because my mind control works. But then we, we would miss out on jumps. You say I'm hostile. I'm hostile? I'm hostile. Jeez. Third shield now. Um, so Yeah, the drones are actually spookier. I have level two hacking, so it's 66% per drone, essentially of breaking here. Part of me actually wants to go small bomb over whole beam, because I just don't think my shots are gonna land. Like we just are in full survival mode here. Like, this first volley isn't an issue, but... Like, double combat drones, I can't. Okay. Okay. So there shouldn't be a buffer here. So the shots there meant that this weapon comes offline. There wasn't a guarantee here, but I don't know, maybe we should try that. I mean, I missed anyways, doesn't really matter. It's just trying to run. Oh, you know what I should do? Okay. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, we said FTO should have a low charge with the fight, but I had to pay this. Still alive. Missed. It's not coming across. Not going across. That's bad. Weapons don't inherently matter, really. Got to lose my battery charge. Can't do anything else. Okay, try to take the second weapon offline here. This bomb isn't gonna do much now. Okay, three drones down.
Okay. Okay. Fire's still raging. So hacking has a chance of blowing up drones. A level one hack is like around 35 to below 40% chance per every single drone of exploding. At level two, it's around 65%, I think. And then it's like 75 at level three. So we got two hacks in and have exploded three drones and then a small bomb landed to keep one offline. Did it just deploy the other drone? Okay, um... This weapon system's completely offline. We have a little bit of time. Okay, four drones, that one activated. That's not surprising. Get oxygen back online here. All right, that's it. That should be all the drones. Like the call here is like you have to like assess how dangerous these things are again having level two hacking is a lot better it's effectively like double chances of drones breaking Prioritizing not taking damage here. Still our primary goal. Let's uh, 
Sit back. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. One of the things I could have been a little bit more cognizant of is, is like when drones were kind of drifting, maybe timing the hacking on that. So like that I had a better chance of like trying to shoot them down in certain spots. Yeah, hacking drones and shooting drones. We had time. I figured. I don't know. Like, with the three drones, it's more likely that they break, and we get through them faster, hopefully, ideally. I mean, I think we only got hit once or twice, right? I mean, obviously, could have gone way worse. And then also that swap off so that I had the training. So I had a little bit more, I had more dodge. Yeah. Yeah, well, uh, the problem, I had no confidence of my shots actually landing. Our first volley landed, so that was insanely important. Our first volley landed and we took one of their weapons offline. Yeah, I mean, we took the ion offline, which was actually probably more dangerous in that scenario. Like that was really lucky. Our bomb missed, our hack blew up one drone but it was a combat drone which is really important like a combat one in a beam drone two shields is pretty solid if you put a person on shield you get the, it's like a bump you know and then we're just like we're up against a, a slower firing weapon <sighs> okay. um i'm inclined to grab two reactor here As much as I'd rather have three shields, I couldn't, like, even power them. But if I get stuck in a bad dive right now, or a bad ion fight... I'd rather have all the reactor I can... Oh, well, thanks for bringing me nothing! I think it's an ion storm fight. They sometimes have scrap in their pockets. Again, it's not like it never works. Uh, we actually have a, like a pretty tight volley here because it's like two different weapons. But like, like I said, if you were firing, like let's say you were firing a charge, uh, like a charge two, and you're firing four shots, and one of the shots misses, but like the fourth shot, you know, so it's like one, two, four to get down to three shields. The gap between shot one and shot four hitting the shields, like the, the hall beam swipe won't get you there. See, this is the one where they have pockets. Pockets full of money. Such a good mantis. Shield three is next. Move cloaking. Just to try to find cloaking. Two, three, four. One, two, three, four. So half, 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 full. All right. All right, so that extra power. Give me our engines are online. So no masala here. Um, all right. 
right, how do I want to do this? Probably mind control the pilot. So see, at least I got the free scrap here to the pilot as well. Two shots. I have to do so much damage to get that missile offline, though. So I don't really want to lose any weapon charge time. Oh, they want to go outside. Yeah, okay. Why didn't you say so? Uh, I love the fires. Okay, I needed to burn down twice before this fire. We're gonna go ahead and swap to small bomb. Right. Mm, this is actually already partially charged. They have no pilot. These are damaged. Seven missiles, two turn parts, and 22 scrap. Uh... Okay. So I got one jump, nebula, then store, if I'm trying to farm up money for that. I'm not using the bomb nearly as much, though, as we were, so I'm just favoring the two drone parts at 16 scrap, right? <sighs> hmm. Gets me to my three shields. This is just keeps driving down my final score because I'm taking so many surrenders, too. We're going to, like, kill, like, 26 ships. Uh, it's a really horrible world. Oh, what does this even mean? Yeah, so Matthew Davis is the developer of the game. Uh, I had noticed that the word small is used in a lot of text. And then uh, someone went through the game and they found out that the word small is actually used more times than like the word like weapon. It is a rebel ship, you're true, that's true. Crew kill? Crew kill, maybe? Like they have fire. You help. Oh, it was level one. <laughs> uh, I mean, I could try bio beam swipes. So I would prefer not to here. And they, they can punch down shields. All right, that's fine. Plenty of shields. Plenty of shields. I'm surprised I didn't even get the O2 fixed. Oh, because that was the one that was. Uh, yeah. Yes! All right. Let's see if this was worth. Please don't be crew low scrap reward. Please don't be crew low scrap reward. Please don't be crew low scrap reward. Twenty-two sixteen drone. That's pretty good. It's pretty good. Are we holding out? Ah, oh, 
gosh, that was such a terrifying fight. So like that, uh, surviving that fight, it makes you think like, well, it's not like we're gonna run into anything worse than that one fight. Cause that fight was. Uh, okay, that's fine. That's fine. I had to remember that it gets halved afterwards. It's okay. It's okay. Never mind. Everything's terrible. I hate everything. Okay. So the drones are less of a threat this time. Yayan is a problem, though. Uh, also, that's not the right weapon set. Well, okay. Let's go through this all over again. Missile's very gross. We hack. Small bomb maybe gets there in time. Small bomb and all my lasers firing is three damage, but that means the missile will fire once. I don't think that's good enough. inherently a better situation because this and the drones are disgusting we do have buffer point in our weapons though it starts here right Combat down, so that's the threat. It's only one ion coming in. Okay, I think we can switch it up to this now, though. Also almost charged. Slot one. Wow. Okay. Well, didn't get there. Unfortunate. We can jump though when we want to. We can leave these drones behind. fun things. Thank you. I'd rather have a, the drone down permanently. Assuming that there's not a buffer point. Just got there. Okay. 
Drone ships are easy because you just you just shoot all the drones down. Just takes like a minute to repair. All right, make a tutorial how to deal with really stupid drone fights. Things to consider. So one, where hacking the drones made more sense, and one where hacking the weapons made more sense. Get out of the way of my laser shots, please. <laughs> Not enough. <sighs> Can sell whole beam. <laughs> Can sell whole beam by cloaking. Oh, well, that was fun. <sighs> okay, yeah. Uh, I still, I really don't want to, like... <laughs> Like, I, honestly, I'd rather just, like, sell these two. And they just go dual lasers, whole beam, <laughs> hack all the ways. What sector is this? Five? Oh, why? Why you gotta be a third store when I need money? Exit the dive. Very dangerous, very risky. The reactor I picked up didn't actually matter. Like it wasn't it wasn't helpful there. Like it could have been in a bad fight, but that wasn't the case. It was not ever in a fight where I needed them. And then I could have just bought cloaking here outright. I have enough buffer, and then I just need the weapon. I can win with this. There's there's more times that cloaking will show up. Gosh, I hope that's true. All right, so one, two. I don't want to dive back. I really don't think so. The question is, do I go to the other store? It doesn't cost me anything. Like I have the fuel for it. Or we could give up by teleporter and just go uh, teleporter build and we become like uh, Lanny SB. Or with a mantis and a slug and another other existing crew. store has a repair burst i mean we could go to see if it has like an ion stunner or like it only cost me one fuel and it has like a stunner or a blast maybe something to flip the small bomb for Sell small bomb for get the pike. Yeah, you can't trust the one, but without cloaking, I don't like the one shot build. Like it's so, it feels really spooky. It feels very spooky. And then that also puts us further behind in getting cloaking later.
Like, I have options now. Like, if, I, if, I, if there's, like, a single-shot projectile... Like, in some instances, this is far more interesting, because then we can just get to, like, six shots in whole beam. Assuming we get money. We're at sector... We're at the end of sector five. I just don't... I can win with this. I don't want to. I don't want to spend money on weapons that I can win with. Like, like the ion blast would make a difference, but stunner, like in certain loadouts, of course. Four shielded ship. Okay. Well, four shielded ship is a massive problem here. the shots hit so it's set up for me to take damage here. Battery's about to get hit. Okay. It's an Artemis 2. Please be into here. So the problem is that lasts the whole time, so they just are repairing it. Fire's good. Okay, so they're coming to do the fire. Um, oh, we want as much damage as kill slot so they don't get away. Okay, all right. 19. I thought, what, Shield 3 is what I did? I mean, Shield 3 was a good pick up there. Gosh, like just the three drone chips, three drone chips and two boarding events is essentially what ended out the sector. Well, if they jump away, fleet pursuit, I don't think that's a double wing fleet pursuit. Yeah, there was not another jump. Rocker Zoltan. What are these choices? <laughs> Okay, two stores. No counter to mine event. Engines would cost me 70 scrap to save a crew. I guess we would just buy one then. They're not borders, so. We're gonna do $54 right now. Nothing except engines. Let's go. I 
didn't want to think about it. I didn't even want to think about it. It's only a 25% chance that I lose somebody there, I think. And also, like... In, uh, looking at the entire totality of this run, it's really, uh, I don't know if I'm like, oh, lucky. You know, like, that one time you didn't get completely hosed by FTL, Crow. What a lucky run. <laughs> uh, uh, one, two, three. Am I banking on that as a store? Because if I do this, it's a donut sector, right? You know. Two versus one. Nope, third time it's that team, that event. Okay, there's... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That's not happening. Yes. Is it just cloaking? Is that it? Is that it? So do I take a jump? Because if I don't get cloaking, what the, is there really a point at the store at this point? Kind of doesn't feel like it. Like I know we went for like one store. I'm sorry, two shielded ship? Uh, I love you? So now Okay. time might get enough jump to the store by cloaking and then like we're an actual ship What? You're always... Stop trying to sell me on this. Uh... Yeah. One, two, three, four. I missed all these beacons for a second store. This could be one store left. I, I just don't see the value in teleporter right here, is the thing. I really just don't see the value in the teleporter. Like, yeah, we have that, the, 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 the small bomb, but I just don't even have the crew to support it. But then Holbeam is just like, hey, did you hack their shields? They're dead. The flagship's dead. <sighs> 
What's their drones? Offensive drones? Get through the salt and shield, reload a drone. Oh, I mean, there is a drone recovery arm. Yeah. Quad hold aim. Yeah, like, we could have got the one shot. Okay, Ms. Olaf, thank you very much. Trying here. I mean, the heavy laser is nice. Like, it gives us the two damage. It doesn't cost me bombs. It gives me another projectile to shoot down shields. Like, all that's good. and give myself a chance of finding the uh, second store, though, before trying to get it online. Alright, I already knew those weren't the store. <sighs> dangerous. This is a region is quite dangerous, and our ship is not well armed. Uh, I would agree. I would agree with that. more diving back okay one two three one two three four five what is that six i think i'd be here in three one two three four five doing so many jumps Wow, okay, I will absolutely take that. Locker slow, may be able to work. Uh, they hit our hack with one of their flak projectiles and we dodged both their missiles. <laughs> missiles are online oh no no they're gonna punch through in time because the o2 hit a little bit unexpected okay uh i'm about to lose a shield like that shield is about to go it's really the only way i can Do the thing, I guess. Repair burst ever worth using? Um, I've used it very sparingly. Yeah, Mantis B would like it. Fed C would like it. Like Fed C, it's really good because it can like you're gonna be hit a lot, so fixing the systems instantly is really nice. Plus, that also like makes weapons being targeted, which is better than your like, sh you know, draws attention away from your shields. So that's that's some good stuff to happen. <laughs> OK, 
Okay. Uh, two shots. Hey, I can give it two shots. Two shots is not a problem. Mm, I might have been actually able to have that. Just dodge all the missiles. back online. Um, they're not going to run out of oxygen. Uh, this is not a crew kill. I should have just emptied the pilot because then they have no dodge. Ah, I was so close. Oh, well. Okay. One. Yeah, I just don't get hit. We're breaking out on beam five. One, two, three, or four. More information once I get through here, assuming I can make ten dollars. I can make ten dollars. Shields is far away. Oh, hacking was too slow. And by hacking was too slow, I was too slow. Yeah, that's fair. I screwed this fight up pretty badly. Like that was just a complete waste of an MC. Repeat our failings. Yeah, the, the console's right there. Come on, I just need to take one of the weapons offline. Just need to just need to take one of their weapons offline. Um, we might. All right, hold on a second. We have to reassess our fight because I screwed up. I screwed up and now I need three shields up pretty much the whole time. I also need to really charge my engines in case this is going sideways because this is about to charge up. I mean, I'm going to buy some time with hacking, but yeah, let's... Yeah, that means the mind control there was just bad because with the hack timing, like that one little mistake seems little, but it was pretty catastrophic. Okay. Maybe. I mean, at least my FTL will charge. Gosh, and the curve goes right to shields as their priority. Like I said, I really only got this one opportunity, I think. 
You know, it doesn't happen, we just run. Oh, that's hitting for piloting. Never mind, we're out. Wow, what a screw up. Like, maybe they still dodge, but yeah, letting that crew in and just completely botching the first volley. I mean, it was unlucky, literally could never land three shots, three or four, 50% evasion the entire time. Yeah. I can't like that hits me in piloting we just get ripped apart there's there's just no recovering <sighs> that's okay keeping the drama high yeah like i i i really thought like i'm surprised the human got there as fast as they did like with their location and the hack traveling, like all I had to do was delay it. I mean, obviously I was surprised by it. Gosh, this is Doctor Six, isn't it? Two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, every laser would be nice. Okay. Please don't beat it. Come on, fight, not in exchange. Just just give me money. Money. Yes. Okay. We're okay. We can, like I can win with it. I totally also should have waited there. All right, and with the Zoltan in there, that could actually be really good. It could really limit their ability to put new things online. 
dead. Oh, oh, maybe not. Maybe not. That's really what I need it for. Okay, this is fine. Always exciting runs here on Crow's channel of FTL. Except for that one run. Oh, that was so close. Okay. It's her slug. Okay. Slugs are two stores, but the only thing I'm real like it's it's a weapon, right? Like that's the thing. Pirates have a better chance of crew killing. Like slugs, I have like no chance of crew killing for money. Oh, that's so tough. I can make an argument for both. I think I'll take it easier. Yeah, it's just, yeah. This is not the way. See, this is dumb. So, like, I want to, like, mind control it, but the rock is going to take forever to get down here. And then also the engine's gonna run out of the room and then back in the room because of reasons. Oh, it's four shields as well. I thought it was three. I should pay more attention to that. It's kind of an important thing, but so like survival wise, I have to kind of do this anyways. Okay, so there's the NG leaving. Vent. Pilot. Hope that's enough. This droid could be a pal. Wow, level one piloting. That's very fortunate. And no buffer and shields. Happy about that. Okay, let's reassess our situation here. It's pretty good. So we'll get another volley off. This time we'll be able to do two damage. Again, this is where if I didn't botch, like as much as I was with scrap hungry, like if we had this scrap and I have heavy laser, it wouldn't be online, but I could like use an alternative over the hole and we'd do more damage. It'd be really powerful. Piloting. This is not crew killing. This is just doing as much as I can. 26 bucks is not going to be enough here. Okay, I still have cloak up. Okay. 
This hasn't fired yet. I'm trying to repair. See, I all like the low reactor stuff. There's a lot of times you don't have to do low reactor. All right. Oh, I gotta sneak this damage in if possible. Yeah. Interesting. Store. So one, two, three. Okay, waiting for O2 to get back up. Because uh, we kind of have it all for a lot part for long portions of fights. Ugh, that one fight, just that stupid MC. It was like such a good idea. So like in a, in a rebel ship, the humans can come over and they punch the door down really fast, and they like just get there in time to stop a system from being punched. And so I was like, oh, they're like five rooms away, but yeah. <laughs> Okay, not an asteroid field. Reasonable. Which is nice since that means I don't have to power my shields all the time. Clone bay, interesting. Four crew, five crew. Okay. Uh, I had to, I need one shield because of this. Actually, why don't I put you here? So then it takes them longer to punch through the doors. Oh my gosh, Crow's learning FTL on the fly. Way to be. Also, I should have done two damage swipes because I don't have anybody in piloting, but. for the missile. Yarp! Try to board again. Med Bay. We'll have Hack Up. I'm gonna wait until I can MC their uh, Mantis pilot. <laughs> not do a silly swipe really focusing on crew kills and actually making sure I'm surviving this fight here. I live in interesting times. Troll. 
<laughs> Power swap to the missile? Shut up. Yes! Oh! <laughs> Let's go. All right. I have no idea if I could even get it online. So now we have 100% dodge, 100% safe. I think we just skip the store now. There's like nothing we want from it. I don't know, drone parts are a little bit sketch. Okay, yeah. There you go, yeah, finally in control of your destiny in Sector 7. As you do. As you do. Gross. Pretty cloak to match their cloak. Yeah. Let's do this so that our timing on hacking is optimal. Even if they had level 3 cloak, it would still be optimal. I have no power. I would like one of their weapons offline. It would make me feel safer. It would make me feel safer. That's good. That'll do. They cloak, that's fine. One shot shouldn't be an issue. Double Mantis trying to put out the fires. Like it. Ooh, that dodge. Dodge. Okay, now we can drop this, right? We got an add up. That's nice. It's nothing currently very cinematic going on right now, though. So. down even more. Okay. Got a drone part back. Yeah, like... Oh, well. <laughs> uh, all right. Going to a store after all. Cyanar reloader. Mm. 
Okay. So, 185 gets a weapon online. Which is probably the best path forward for our offense. Hey, Ogre. Barb. <sighs> I can't afford really going reloader here. All right, so... We try to get the other weapon online so that our offense is really solid. Two buffers here. So essentially we're banking on 80. 265 300 350 scrap plus another 100 for power so it's like tempting to maybe just go for the ion stunner just because it's I can get it online and I save 90 bucks. Because we're up against it. Yeah. I I don't think I'm gonna get that kind of money. I mean, it, it's possible. Like anything's possible. And then, but if I get that kind of money, like I'm I'm gonna probably just win anyways, because then I get to like four shields. me up pulsar okay uh weapon hacking in a pulsar <sighs> do need one shield up insanely slow rock of course as always Currently ignore them. Okay, both bombs offline. Incoming pulsar. Uh, what am I trying to protect here? Thank you. Totally the wrong thing. Uh, I got a fire. Yeah. Oft repeated meme. Okay, so we protect our shields. I'm not dodging anything right now. They're probably just toggle off weapons. Hit in the weapons, they got hit in engines, shields for okay. Like, 
I could only save like dual lasers and there so the, the, that didn't seem worthwhile trying. From the ion damage. So the amount of power you have in the system, you add two to that. And then you take that sum, divide it by two, and that's how much ion damage that system's gonna get, take when it gets hit by the pulsar. I might just drop down low enough that you just run away. One more hit. Okay, this is kind of not great. The weapons are charging. How's it going? Scraping by. Really, really terrible early sectors again. I did screw up a fight in uh, last sector though. So I sh could have had a little bit more money now. But other than that, just garbage after garbage after garbage after garbage again. It's gonna be a struggle just to see if I even kill 30 ships. Like average is like 43. I, I, I'm thinking we're probably at like going to like maybe hit 32 mark. Um, am I protecting shield or do I not protect shield so that I can protect cloaking and engines? Okay. You stay there. Shields get hit. Yeah, I can't even fire my weapons in time. <laughs> okay, what got hit? Hey, weapons back-to-back -back times. Nice, like I had to hit shields. So yeah, back-to-back -back weapon hits. Back-to-back -back engine hits for them. Yeah, okay, you know, that doesn't really matter, game. Just FYI. Could I please fire my weapons? Could I please fire my weapons? Okay, so I have one power in shields because it was locked in by the pulsar, so that's getting hit anyways. I'm taking my chances of them getting hit to try and get a shot off. Okay. I want my shields to be hit here. sectors ago there we got like these absolutely disgusting drone fights and but it was just like yeah sector one like sector one i got an ion intruder to like make up for the fact that we were eight jumps into the sector and hadn't cracked 50 scrap yet and then the next sector was trash and then the next sector was trash and the next sector was trash and it's like uh okay um i kind of had to do a lot of weapon swapping which i was not a fan of uh, like, we sold quite a few weapons. Uh, just to, like, buy systems. Uh, I'm gonna wait. 
And then, yeah, like, we didn't get, like, in this, this, we literally just got to here in terms of, like, where our ship had weapons and the systems. Like, we just got here in Sector 7. Like, there was a fight, there were two fights where I was just actively shooting down drones to survive. eventually fight. Or do I hack shield so I can get in for actual damage? Crow, what are you doing? still the only thing that stays online, right? Okay. Keyboard? Yeah, I don't think I can I make a command for that. I have to look that back up someday. Some stuff got lost along the ways. Two, three. I mean, we're diving, right? Like we're just we're diving. drone parts. Hacking is slow here. Uh, 
hold my volley. I do one cross swipe. Put the missile in the air. In theory, this should do what I think it should do. Okay, so full level. Wrong game. See, this is the change. They're taking off the. This should not have been the weapon that came down. Shouldn't have been the weapon that came down. Oh, you. But. Like, I just got pump faked out there. It dropped the weapon. So, like, so before, like, the 1.9 update, whatever it was called, like, it was always, 100% of the time, always the least powered weapon would go offline. Always. And then they did some update, and now they're, like, the enemy, like, does these, like, crazy power swaps. And so it's unpredictable. So I really didn't like it because the idea could be like you cloak a missile, you do one damage to their weapon system, and then like that missile has to come offline. And that's what I tried to do, but it dropped the other weapon. And so I was like, all right, well, I'm going to go all for it. And then it was like, psych. And I just got baited hard. The amount of shots we did not miss has also been absurd this fight, though. Like, for reals. Real talk. Okay. Now you, you simmer down there, game. <sighs> These fights are long. Three. Okay. No, okay, no, yep. Yep, 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 yep. Alright, at least we have a baseline to ship. Yeah, you know what? 30 bucks, not bad. Oh, fair enough. It puts me one below full hull. Minor risk. Drink some water, Captain. Uh, I'm parched. Come on, come on, don't end the don't end on four empty jumps, please. Like you don't have to be this way. Like you don't have to be this way, FTL. Come on.
thing. That's uh, disgusting. Can't even buffer my engines if I get boarded there. Like, things can go stupid sideways. Whatever. Got no money in the last four jumps. It's not like it's been choking me the whole run, so might as well keep doing it, right? It's fine, not really. Okay, there you go. Might want to fix some stuff on your ship. Crew on my ship to Tully. <clears throat> you arrive at a small outpost close to the Federation base. Your access code gives you passage to security, and an officer sets up a direct feed to the Federation base's war room. The small Amber Tully speaks first, saying, What is the meaning of this? Who are you? Wait, wait. Are you fighting? There's no fighting in the war room. Explain your mission. Your explanation is met with murmurs, the cynicism, the disbelief among the officers. General Tursal of the NG Brigade speaks up. Intel suggests potential counter to rebel technology. Risk all or save none. So we risk all to save all of them. They risk none. Explain the weakness of the enemy fleet. It is the small rebel flagship. Small totally responds, it's settled. The small rebels will be here in a matter of small moments. We'll do what we can to hold off their small warships, but you must succeed in destroying this small flagship. Your current outpost can provide some repairs and fuel, and other small repair stations can provide aid as well. Good luck. be healed. <laughs> okay. All right. Nice, nice. Kiting through the uh, medical unit so he could heal more. Sure, sure. Advanced FTL strats right there. Pathing. It's garbage. All right, you know what? I'll take a. I think we're gonna take a three-minute break here. I'm gonna try to find a Zen-like state. And then, uh, you know, try to kill the flagship. <sighs> Thanks, everybody, for hanging out. And it's going to be inside of uh, three minutes.
zen it up. All right, so we're gonna hit the repair and loop around. Because of the dive, we do this. Kind of try and see how much scrap we can get before we actually engage the flagship. Drone parts aren't the issue. get this is so that we can get like up to our 95% evasion. see if uh you know clean fight would be best So our hacking is more so on cooldown. That's really bad. Oh, it's just a store. Great. Store. Awesome. Just absolutely nothing. in my shields. I would like to upgrade Toe 2 and I would like to upgrade Cloaking. Remember how we got that weapon? We swapped down because I didn't think I could get 90 scrap. We're not, I don't even know if we're going to get the... Okay, 7 plus 75 is power. Absolutely nothing has been a recurring theme. for a double reward fight. Okay, DD2, DD1, four shots and a bomb. We actually can shield hack here, I think. is the thing we cloak. I don't know if the DD2 shut down anything. OK. 
Okay. Oh, please don't. Please don't fix piloting. Please don't fix piloting. Please don't fix piloting. I said don't fix piloting. I was very, very clear about that. Oh, wow. The DD2 came back online. Oh, that's gross. Um... Am I taking the 31? All right, I'm gonna get land one more projectile in there. It's level one piloting. As soon as they fix the piloting, it's going to leave piloting and repair other systems because no one's repair repairing the engines. And yeah, because it's level. Okay. Two million dollars, sixty-six dollars. Okay, slightly less. <laughs> uh, of course. All right. Not even that opportunity there. All right. Not getting the buffer point is so spooky for shields. But we do have hull beam. We do have hull beam. Okay, I just have to we have to kill shields. Like we just we just kill shields. We're we're not trying to flawless this crow. We don't need to flawless it. We need to win. We kill shields. This is it, the Rebel flagship. If you're able to destroy this monstrosity, the Federation fleet will have a chance of surviving. There is no turning back. I think this is like the fourth time in a row hacking's been hacked. Battery hack, maybe? No. I have drone parts, I can work around it. make it difficult though it is bugged so there are some exploitations that you can kind of get some crew kills with it though it also loses some crew kills okay one damage to the missile system means that uh we can cloak it i'm gonna put this in slot three wait Oh, I'm grabbing the wrong thing. I was getting super confused there. All right, just kind of hoping for a fire. Would have been appreciated. Got to flash the shields here. Don't care about that. Battery would be slightly inconvenient. Okay.
Okay. Um, I'm just thinking about what I want to hack this time. Do I hack shields again? Like, we're kind of hoping just, like, this, like, crew kill thing. Oh, my gosh. I thought that almost was going to hit that. Okay. How much health are you at? 25, 55, 70. No, there's not a... There's not really a chance here. Try and get one kill, I guess. Probably not going to be in time. I don't know if they were in the bug room. Store's still up. I guess I could check to see if there was the store was up. I don't know. Winning it clean is not inherently wrong here. It doesn't feel like. All right. We dunk shield. Close surge. Dunk shield again. Nine damage swipe with whole beam. Kidnap strats. It's gonna be, could potentially be really hazardous if it lands in piloting. That wouldn't happen though, because eventually something nice has to happen in this run. All right, you stay where you were and you discover the flagship is heavily damaged from three fights. Candy's gates redirect zero power to drones. You're ready to fight. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six borders. Okay. don't even need a level three cloak. All right, one, two, four, six, eight, nine. time. Weapons are charged. Oh, 
17, 17, 1. Okay. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. 2, 3, 4. I have a little bit of time. Okay. Okay. Shields are down. We have a little bit of time. A little bit of dodge. Shields are down. I can haul, I can haul beam swipe whenever I want. Crew back. Uh, I might eat missiles here. Put three missiles to kill off two more crew. fantastic phase two really absolutely fantastic no complaints phase two okay no damage tons of crew kills plan we stuck to the plan yeah i think it would be worth taking like three damage to kill the two crew all right now it's just getting through the zoltan shield uh and what can we do with 47 scrap <laughs> the store's there the garbage store um Piloting. I think it's piloting. Part of me really wants reactor as well, but I think we have to go piloting because if that gets hit, then a lot of bad things can happen. And I just don't really have money for anything else. One border. Let's go. All right, you're not certain how I was able to keep fighting without damage to sustain. It looks like it's transfer power to the teleport as well as some kind of super weapon. Be prepared. This is it. good first volley good first volley as well okay so whole beam will take down another two we'll fire a bunch of shots drop our shields now so we buy as much time for our cloak down medical unit but then we can MC the pilot on their ship that might be worth it not yet
Okay, I think I actually try and take missiles down here. That's bad. Okay. Um, I don't have enough time to fix it. Before the MC hits. Yeah, no, I do. Um, I just need you not be in the room. That looks like a lot of misses. Does that look like a lot of misses to anybody else? Looks like a lot of misses to me. I don't know where it puts you so you're not in trouble there. Big damage swipe, down to five HP. Shields are up. I didn't get my shield up in time. But hacking's down. Missile's incoming. Slow the bubble getting up. I don't know if that does anything. Oh, it offset. How did it, it offset it? No, that's really bad. Okay. It's okay. We don't have to panic yet. That was so weird. Okay, we're fine. Oh, burn down, jeez. Like, it powered up and then the ion whiff and it wasn't there. Thanks everybody on the crew for helping out. Oh, Partov Core Sigma. Um, tracks, Python Idler. 5154. Yeah, I, I, I honestly think it's gonna be like 4750. Like I said, we were just choked out the whole time. 
We got what the free ion intruder. We did get a couple free weapons, like because we got the free ion intruder, the free hole two, hole one. Sorry. No free augments. Two free crew. When I said couple. I I think I was literal two. But I learned, like, the lessons from the Fed A run that killed me, like, how to approach the flagship, which is just kill it. Just kill it. There's a lot of weapon swapping. And that one, the one fight that I screwed up, I mean, maybe I still don't get it, but that was the one fight I screwed up, uh, made it rougher because then I couldn't get, to get, a, get the buffer point in, um, shields, maybe. Or I couldn't, there's like, a time I could have kept the weapon. What was the name of this ship? This is the Slug A. I am beside myself right now. <laughs> I really, it was just like, that was such a struggle. Jeez. And that's not a struggle ship. That's, like, not a struggle ship. That's not supposed to be a struggle ship. There were so many disgusting fights. Hey, Francie. Like, there was... I thought we were dead. The triple drone fight. Like, the triple drone fight was so bad. Triple drone fight, charge ion, chain laser. We had, like, two shields. Second run tonight? Are you are you kidding? That was two runs! That was two runs! That was like three that was like all the runs. <laughs> oh man. 4372 winning that. Unreal. And again, we're like... <sighs> like, wh how? How? I got us. The run before that was a sub-5k run with a stealth A, and the thing I really just didn't like on that one was trading away three fuel. The Mantis A run was very easy. The Zoltan C run that I had was easy outside of the wonkiness of running triple ion charger so early. Mantis B 5K, Federation C sub 5K, 5352 with the Kestrel B. Like, I mean, it's just. I don't know. And then those three death runs. I mean, there's like, like I said, it is just. It's so feast or famine, it feels like. I don't even know what an average run is. <laughs> like, I just don't even know what an average run is. Oh yeah, there's a 6,000 like Rock B run, but uh, I was using a Pegasus missile to hold that run together in the early going. Like all the, like what's so nuts is like, okay, so there was a Rock B run. Uh, okay, so there's this run and this run was just garbage throughout. I had the one screw up fight, like the one fight I really like I butchered in uh, like late sector five, I think it was. Okay, then there was a Stealth A and the Stealth A we got what, we made like 150 scrap out of the first two sectors? Like Stealth A is a get 7k every run ship. And we got we got trash at the start and uh, like pulled that one together. Mantis A was just like absolute riches. We, we won in sector three, right? We were done in sector three. We had cloaking, we had hacking. We even had a decent weapons to like get through result in shields. So that was over in sector three. This game wasn't even over until, this wasn't even over. Like, it wasn't over until the flagship was dead. Um, the run before it was a Mantis C run, or the Zoltan C run. So the Zoltan C run, which I posted the end of, like, I think it was, like, Sector 5 on, where I was running triple charge ions and beam drone. Like, that was my offense. Was just relying on beam drone and triple charge ions with no hacking. Uh, that was an oddity. That's not a very normal run. 
The run up before that was the Mantis B one, where I almost died in Sector 4. In Sector 4, I ran into a Pulsar, Zoltan Shield, with Heavy 2, Artemis, and two offensive drones. And they surrendered when my second Hermes hit. But I almost died in that sector. Uh, Federation C, before that, I had a lot of drones early on, so I got some scrap, but that was a 4570 run and 90 total beacons, which is really low for me. Uh, there's a Custle B run that was 5352, strong early sectors, the hacking took a while to get, and then the Rock B run before that was relying on Pegasus. And then the run before that was like the easiest Rock A run you've ever had in your life. Uh, and then the run before that was a Federation B, where I calculated I had 450 scrap through four sectors. Four sectors. And uh, that final score in that Federation B one was 52.33, and I had three maps. <laughs> three maps! Still couldn't crack 5,300. Um... Yeah, the Stealth B run then was like absolute cakewalk as far as Stealth B runs go. And then it's like B run where I couldn't find any whole damage weapons and got forced into abandoned sector four. Uh, and then all like the, the chiming and like all the, the strings of losses and whatnot. I don't know. Like it's crazy how everyone is memorable. Do you make a log with your own? Um, so. Should be exclamation point stats. Yeah. So that's my stat sheet. Page one. We can go. Do I have a share screen? Screen. Maybe on comics. Maybe. Cool. Alright. Yeah, we, uh, I can go through this so the chat's not there. Um but yeah, so this is like the stat screen. So this is all the shit. This is since I've started streaming FTL. So this goes all the runs back, so all like 954 runs. And then this is the win rates of those, of all the runs uh, on order of like the ship win rates and my longest streaks with each one of those ships and what the current streak is. Um, and then at some point I thought I made some like really significant improvements in play. And so that was about 494 runs ago. Uh, and that's what my win rate was then. And then Though I, I I had like a bunch of runs where I thought like like right before I got my first cycle like my which was my 52 win streak, I started another break there where uh, you know I was like really feeling at the top of my game, and this is kind of the thing we're on now, which is 12 runs with every ship though like Belanius A I already had a 13th run before I decided to do this but they were all victories, and yeah so this is the last. 300 runs of eight FTL with 11 losses. I'm gonna move chat so I can, if somebody's talking, I can be like, oh, yes, that's a, that's a thing. Oop. So I'm very serious, yeah. What would be your long run objective? Well, my first, it used to be like just trying to get uh, the cycle, which was clearing all 28 ships in FTL in a row without a loss in hard mode, and I did that. And then it became to do it again to show that, like, it wasn't a fluke. And I also did it without using speed hack, which I just used for training purposes, but I, I wanted an unmodded one. And like I said, doing it again so it didn't feel fluky. Uh, so I got that one, got to 68, which I was really happy because there's only four other players who have a longer win streak than myself. It's clear the superior Laney is B. Like, that fight was such a counter. Like, other ships may have won, like, with just, like, certain offensive, like, certain, like, Zoltan ships may have been able to withstand it, but that was, ugh, that was so disgusting. So now it's kind of this. I've, like, really, really slowed down my FTL play because, honestly, i am just been taking such a mental beating from the game. I also like how I'm kind of, like, floating above gray bar here. It's good video capturing, Crow. Can I just, like, maybe, oh, boop, that looks a little bit more reasonable. Um, like, it's it's just been super mentally taxing. 
Like, it took a while to get, like, in a better mental health state to, like, be able to, like, try and pull off win streaks and whatnot. Uh, but then, yeah, like, th this has kind of been, like, an MO, it feels like, where I get, like, one good run, and then it's just three punch-you-in-the-face runs, and then it's like, oh, here's a run where you get everything for free, so your averages don't look like garbage, and then it's, like, three more punch-you-in-the-face runs. Uh, yeah, so we had, like, back-to-back -back those. Uh, this is a breakdown of most of the runs in the order that they occurred. Uh, sometimes I was doing off streams runs in between win streaks just to like keep practice uh, with some notes on like why I felt that I lost. Uh, 